up guys welcome back to the channel as of right now as you are watching this video team naughty caps have finally gone live as some of you may know grant had these caps made especially for me for the iron man you got a few made for like the support crew to cheer Steph on. So these caps are very special to me and they will always, always remind me of the best day of my life thus far. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Honestly, I have a very deep connection to these caps and I feel it was only right to finally get these out for you guys to, based on your response and based on the comments, it was very apparent that you guys wanted in on the Team Nutty Caps. We heard you and you can finally get hold of them. You can either click the link down below or you can type nuttyfoodyfitness.com. How weird is it to say that? <laughs> You've got nuttyfoodyfitness.com. I almost sound legit. You do, you do. We've also got plans for a lot more than just the hats in the future, but for right now, for drop V1, we just wanted to go special, exclusive special edition all the tag words you can think of <laughs> limited stock basically if you want a cat get, get on, on it right. as fast as you can you never know how much demand there's going to be can you imagine like it's just going to be so cool to see you guys rocking the team night yeah. merch let us know in the comments below if you have purchased and even like on insta if you've done an order like share the order confirmation and tag, hashtag team nutty tag Steph and hashtag team nutty that would be so exciting you know the thing is as I did say in the Iron Man video let's just take it back for a moment I did feel like I had all of you with mm. me on that day it didn't feel like I was doing that on my own and I feel like this it kind of solidifies the community yeah, and I cool. think it's really special what we've built and I always feel super connected to you. Absolutely. And I think it would be so cool to have like a physical representation of that. Yeah, like Nazi nation. Seeing people rocking these or like even just knowing that someone's like putting this on to go for a jog or just to go to the shop. Like a little gym session. Yeah. We've just decided to go for like casual look. So it's not sporty, but you can rock it for doing sports, going to the gym. Also, I'm yeah. probably stealing your thunder here, but I spent ages working with suppliers to get a better quality hat. This was version one. Version two, better embroidery, all raised. It's so cool. Really, really proud of these. They're sick hats. I live in hats, so I only wanted the best. Long story short, I'm so excited. Yeah, I feel like you always look more excited. Because <laughs> Steph gets excited when like dinner dinner comes. But um but I, I've been working. He's been working hard behind the scenes and I yeah. think that even something like this where you think, oh it's just a cat, like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's actually so much that goes into it and cute little touches. Little Ziploc bags for the hats to go in. Little um, stickers. Little stickers. Cool little thing, but it's the start of much more. But right now, first edition, limited. Steph's going to be getting back to every single person. She promised me that. <laughs> I will. We are going to try and ship these to most countries worldwide. There's a few select that we can't ship to, but right now we're pretty much shipping everywhere in the world, which is really exciting. But in advance, if you are one of the very few that we can't ship to, I am so sorry, we yeah. have tried. Yeah. In the future, yep. there will be no exceptions. On a less kind of boring shipping note, Steph, I've managed to persuade to write some little handwritten notes and messages to you guys. Who knows, I might even do a bit of drawing. Fun. <laughs> Basically, thank you. <gasps> thank you so much yeah, to you. those of you that purchase, support, even just watch the, the YouTube. Subscribing, liking, if you do buy a hat, we don't expect you to, but you yeah. should, you really should. <laughs> this guy. We're done with the plugging. Please go ahead and like this video because Grant said that if this video gets 7,777 likes, he will do 24 hours eating nutty food. Mm -hmm. And look how excited he is. <laughs> He's so excited about this. Make sure you do it because he cannot wait, can you? I'm like a coil. He cannot wait. I'm like, like a coiled spring. He cannot Ooh. wait to do that. Turkish or Thai? Turkish. Okay, Turkish it is. I shall be addressing the elephant in the room because I've not discussed anything to do with training. I shall address that. You should address that. But we won't address it today because rest day. Rest and refuel. Tomorrow we'll discuss that. <laughs> but for now. Carry on. But <laughs> I can't take it seriously. Shall we take them with them? Yeah. With shall, shall we? Shall we take them with them? Shall I take you with me? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I 
I said to Grant, is it okay that we're wearing caps in the restaurant? He was like, we're repping it. I literally wear caps every day. <laughs> <laughs> they know. So the starters have arrived. Yes, they have. <laughs> How good do these guys look? Oh, there's no audio, is there? I think there's going to be copyright. Enjoy, baby. Oh, wow. Glock of one, I'm out. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't help yourself. <laughs> I think she's saying it's really good, guys. I approve. Good amount as well. Yeah, really good amount. Yeah. I do the uncovering. Yeah, do the honours. Two Turkish coffees. And you ready? Wow. Cheers. Cheers. So much flavour. God. It's a strong one. It's way too strong. guys I'm having my peanut butter and banana oats a lovely cup of tea and I wanted to address the elephant in the room before we go any further with this video mm. if you have been following along with my videos you will have seen I've been in a right pickle for the past few weeks <laughs> I mean I think to be honest, Pickle is not doing justice to the situation or how I felt. Being completely honest with you guys, the past few weeks have been some of the hardest weeks. I've been so completely torn. It was extremely hard for me. I filmed a lot of it. You'll know that I was in a right crossroads with what to do going forward with the Ironman World Championship. I went to Spain and I, I was there for a week and I feel like that week away and that space and that just a complete change of scenery really allowed me to think things through properly and listen to what I truly want to do. I did film this clip on the final day in Spain. I went to return the bike. They gave me back my pedals and I also came back with this, this other specialized top. Now, there would be no reason for me to get a cycling top if I wasn't to be planning on doing more cycling, right? After two weeks, I now know what I wanna do and it's been such a weird, time for me. I just felt like I was being torn and pulled in every direction but I know that I want to continue and I couldn't walk away from this because as tough as it is sometimes as much distance friction that doing something like this creates I need to live my life for me, I need to do what ultimately makes me feel happy and fulfilled. And that's continuing. The only way I can explain how I felt is scared at how close I have been from just fully <laughs> giving it all up. And not because I've wanted to. I nearly allowed words and opinions and whatever else. I nearly allowed that to stop me from doing what I truly wanted to do. I don't think it would have ever sat well with me giving up something that I wanted to do. So I'm doing it. <sighs> Holy shit. It's been a roller coaster. I'm honestly so happy and so proud of myself for pushing on and you know persevering with the cycling because I did nearly email the specialized rental place and tell them that 
you know, I no longer needed the bike, that I'd changed my mind and oh, I was just so close. I just can't even, I can't even explain how very nearly I, I packed it all in. We're back. And I'm crying tears of happiness because I nearly allowed external things to dictate what I do. I sent my coach a message saying I'm back in and then Grant said, Yes, I really hoped that you would, but I, am, I knew that you actually should do it. So I'm glad you've made that decision. I'm very proud of you. I'll be here to support you with absolutely everything you need. I love you very much and I'm glad you're doing it. Those were the final tears that have been shed over this situation. Leading up to that moment, I had pretty much cried every day with just really not knowing what to do. I was so stuck, but I feel like myself again. Like I feel like I can, I'm back to feeling like I can do whatever the heck I want to achieve in this life. And I lost that for a bit and it was scary. It was really scary. Not that I enjoyed any moment of this, but I hope that it can perhaps bring someone watching this some comfort if you're in a situation where you're a bit torn by what you want to do and what maybe others think might be best for you to do. It's, it's not easy and I feel that so many people out there go through similar situations on a daily basis with, you know, their career or their hobbies and it's really difficult I'm trying to like navigate that when it's sometimes caused by the closest people to you. Perhaps a bit of space is what might bring you a bit more clarity. Ultimately, like when you take a step back and you really, really think about what it is you wanna do, I think like your answer will come. But anyway, this isn't about all of that now. When I did get back from Spain, I did take a couple of days off just to like reset a little bit, enjoy some food. I don't think I have ever procrastinated as much as I did today. It took me I think maybe an hour and a half today to get out to do this run. It wasn't full procrastination. Now we're gonna make up excuses as to why I wasn't procrastinating, which definitely sounds like procrastination. My sleep has gone so much better since I've got back from Spain. I've got back into a good routine, but last night was just a bit catastrophic. So I was feeling tired and I also had the worst doms ever in my quads, in my bum, in my legs. And it's entirely my fault. I haven't trained or like done any gym session for maybe a week and a half. So it was my fault entirely. I chose to do that yesterday, but at the same time I was, I was fancying a gym session. Knew the repercussions. Yeah, that's why today I was just like, do I maybe push this session? But then if I get this session done, I know I'm, I'll be proud of myself and I am. I really am. I'm so sweaty. This is the color of the sports bra. That's the only bit that survived. The rest is absolutely drenched. Anyway, I actually did it. I did it. One thing I kept on saying to myself today, doesn't matter if I do not hit the paces that you know I'm meant to hit. What matters is the effort I'm putting in and giving your best. I will put my hand up and say they're on my fifth interval. Basically, I was doing 10 intervals, three minutes worth of effort, 10 times with 90 second recovery in between. On interval number five, I nearly did say, five minutes is enough. But then I thought, no, do you know what is better than doing five? 10. <laughs> so I did all of them. I'm so, so salty. I did manage to surpass, you know, the paces I was meant to hit, which I didn't even think I could. Averaged 358. This isn't gonna mean much to anyone, but I know a lot of people are stat driven. These are like relative to me. Do you know what also happened to me yesterday? My neighbors, my neighbors picking out the clothes and he's probably gonna see me just talking to myself. <laughs> the leg extension, right? I went to move the seat. It like dragged me forward. Within a second, my finger got trapped in the, in the machine. It's okay. You don't need to get out the violins today. What I took from today's training session is to not get too bogged down by numbers and to do your best. <laughs> Just checking that you know you've put in a little order. <laughs> Buy one. Um, but yeah, you can apply that to anything. Like, as long as you're doing your best. Have I got the window open? Oh, that's really awkward. <laughs> 
the window's open so that all the neighbours can hear my pep talk. Just do your best, guys. That is all you can do. This is so disgusting. Do you reckon if I do this, water will fall? I'm intrigued. Surely not. Hold on. That's how wet it is. Realise how disgusting that is. I'm doing it right now so that I don't get cancelled, okay? First ride back on the roads since, well, not including Spain. Not including Spain, but like since First September. Ride. I was going to Grant. Like I feel fine. Do you remember how scared I was before? Yeah. I actually feel okay, so. Yeah, you're smashing it. Very good news. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Bit windy. Right, Deckers. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Okay. We did a 38.7k ride. I mean, it was supposed to be really easy, but obviously I was here with my two guys. So <laughs> we did cycle for another half an hour longer than required. But obviously that is what happens when it's not me leading the pack. It was really good. Just being back and not having any panic of the fact that there's cars on the road. So we're good. They've not seen the setup. Grant's put these little things off on the on the wall. Although it's cuter when you can see his and hers. That is all. Does anyone else want to say any final words? That was fun. <laughs> that was fun, yeah? <laughs> chill, chill drive, chill drive. Chill, chill. Do you know how many times I said to them before we left, guys, easy, chilled. Declan, I was pretty chilled. You chilled? I uh, Grant and I were going to do some more cooking, we said. They look like they need to do some more cooking as well. <laughs> Jesus, what is that? I decided to get us a takeaway. We've got chicken sheesh. Look how much garlic sauce and chilli sauce. This is why Grant is a keeper. Because <laughs> <laughs> I bring you food. Do you know the last time I ate these was when I was running 100k with, with Josh. What I'm basically trying to say, guys, is that if you run and cycle on the same day, you just eat... And eat and eat. <laughs> Literally had every snack. See what I mean? <laughs> Grant and I went in for one spoon of double chocolate brownie. <laughs> I did, however, eat some grapes because balance. Cheese and onion quiche and a mac and cheese. I think the theme is, is cheese. This is what you call a, a 9 p.m. snack. Oh, you're supposed to point the camera at me then. <laughs> they missed your one-liners, to be fair. Should I just put this in the plate? <laughs> I think let's be semi-civilised. Okay. Here. Let's see the cross-section for them. <laughs> so underwhelming. <laughs> the hunger is so real. I'm sharing this Sunday roast just because it is that beautiful that it needs a moment in the vlog. Look at the potatoes! Sunday reset. Let's go! <laughs> I'm going to make goat's cheese and caramelised onion pizzas. These smell really good. This is the naan packaging. I was saying to Grant that I don't know if this is going to be enough for us because usually when we make homemade pizzas we have like two each. Right. First up we're going to wilt some spinach. Two second rule. Look how cute that goat's cheese is. <laughs> Normally it's just all of like a Yeah, I thought it would be a lot. Okay, we've got some marinara sauce going on. It does 
crumble very well. It's quite sticky, you know? There's literally more ghost cheese on my fingers than there is on the pizzas. On the naans, sorry. The Italians would really kick off if I called this a pizza. <laughs> I'm say saying, what you just said. I'm really grateful that you made some dinner for me. Yeah. yeah but Grant cool. had an issue with my makeshift colander. Don't call us out at how bad are the things that... No, just... call us out because that would have been Grant's doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is how much spinach I now have. I mean, all at once. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get from the shop? I just got some like little olives and feta, like just to go. I said to Grant, get something because maybe this won't be enough. So we got more cheese. Do you know uh, there's already two different types of cheese going on this? There's a little palatine. Yeah, to get us going. Yeah. I mean, I'm just... Question. Do you go for the green or the black olives? I go for the black, what do you go for? You know what they say, once you go green, Always be keen. I don't think that was it. Mm -hmm. More cheese. Right, I know that what's gonna happen, all the cheese is just suddenly gonna come out. Oh, yep. <laughs> Onion marmalade. It literally smells like Branston pickle. Do you reckon these pine nuts are okay? Should I put them on the pizza? came through. I mean, I do think that Grant and I are going to need some more food. Oh wow, thank you. I'm just going to give it a taste test right here, okay? Incredible. It's good, isn't it? Really good. And I'll go back to you with dessert, which looking into the future and I'm thinking it's going to be some crunchy nut and some turon and some chocolate wafers. Good morning guys! Today is a bittersweet day. I'll tell you why. I'm filming this today, the day the video goes live, and so you know what that means. So that's the positive of the day. I'm feeling rather rejuvenated. I feel like, what's my whoop say? I'm 68% recovered. We are in the green zone. If you don't know what Whoop is, this is a Whoop and it tracks my strain, my recovery, my sleep, and I wear it every single day. It never comes off my wrist, just like my Iron Man band. <laughs> if you want to try out Whoop, I do have a link that will get you a free Whoop 4.0 and a free month on me if you want to try it out. Guys, I put my hands up, eaten all the Tuvron. My Spaniards will know as well as the um, the softer one, <laughs> which you saw me literally get in the last video, but the sad news is, the very sad news of the day, we've come to the end. That is all we have. Well, I say that is all we have. I have many jars open at once, but this is like my go-to. Doing a peanut butter and jam situation. Guys, if you're a swimmer, let me know what you think about this. I am about to take an antihistamine because a swim is all I have to do today. Well, I say all. I've got this whole video to edit, so I'm probably going to, like, end this very soon. But every time I go swimming, the rest of the day, I am sneezing and I basically have symptoms of a cold for the next 24 hours after I go for a swim. And it's not very nice. Feeling like you've got a cold, but you don't actually have a cold, it's just because you went to the swimming pool. I'm aware that my swimming pool has a shitload of chlorine. Like, as soon as you walk in, it's you can just smell it. It's overpowering. Before anyone says about, like, going to another pool with, um, you know, like, salt water, I'm not going to be able to do that right now. So, like, I need to find a solution to deal with the super chlorinified pool. But, hey, so what happens when you take antihistamines twice a week? probably not a good long-term solution but I'm not sure please help a girl out I'm gonna smash my peanut butter and jam oats 
hopefully swim stress-free hopefully stay tuned if you're part of the nutty thoughts broadcast channel on instagram you'll know you'll know today how that swim goes if you've enjoyed watching this video i know it's been a little bit all over the place but i do feel like we're in a good place right now and feeling good i'm feeling positive i am obviously very excited also about the fact that we've got these caps out today. I'm just gonna give a massive shout out to Grant because he's not here right now and he isn't here to tell me not to, but he has really put in so much time into this and it's something that he's always wanted to do. So, you know, who was I to stop him? I'm very proud of everything that he's done and if you do buy a cap, then I really appreciate it because it supports everything that Grant does for me and there's no way I could, I could do what I do without Grant because he is everything. Can't wait to see the Nutty Nation rocking their caps and I really hope that every time you put that cap on, it gives you that belief that you can you can go out there and you can smash it and that you've obviously got this and stay nutty my friends steph said she will be best friends with everyone that buys out. i already am you can go out like, i already am yeah like day, days out date night no <laughs> it's cute you did a good job <laughs> they're actually so cute why do you sound so profound <laughs> who knew look grass fast enough very fancy. Smoke. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> Look back. If you're still watching the video, comment. Wait, team have they Nutty. seen? Have they